Well, it had protests, advertising, buses, all the surefire signs of an election campaign without actually being one. Scott Morrison and Bill Shorten have spent the first day of what could be a full week of faux campaigning before the Prime Minister calls the real one. Today's topics, coalition tensions over coal and a charged debate over electric cars. Here's political editor Andrew Probin. Who says the choice for voters is stark? How long have you worked here for? How long have you been working here, Lincoln? How long have you worked here for, Nathan? How long have you been with the company? How long have you worked here? How long have you been working here? It's got the look, feel and fluoro of an election campaign. Can we do that? I don't want to get in the way. Just not the official status. I've ticked off my bucket list in life. And some say they know what's at stake. On your table... Just stop the Adani coal mine. This is going to be the climate election. <laughs> OK. Take two. Do we have contestant number three? Yeah. Well, he did ask climate activism in a sharp suit. And you're letting all Australians down. But it's not just on the Prime Minister's left flank that the Adani coal mine's causing grief. His Environment Minister, Melissa Price, is being pressured by central Queensland colleagues to get a hurry on in signing environmental approval. One of them, James McGrath, is reportedly threatening to publicly call for her resignation if she doesn't. This is a failure of ethics at government at the highest level. We will be relying on the scientific evidence. The Prime Minister seemingly more interested in stirring a rev-head revolution on Bill Shorten's push for electric cars. So your high lux, that's out according to Bill Shorten. Here we go, roller coaster. Whoa! What Australians have always expressed the preference for is the vehicles that have a bit of grunt. These are the people who would probably say that vinyl will never be replaced by CD and don't even talk about Spotify, that's just <laughs> magic. A day of good theatre, but all things considered, one with a rather threadbare plotline. The Coalition still clings to the belief that a tightening of the polls on the eve of the main act indicates it might still be able to stage a remarkable recovery in the five-week campaign, although advertising its divisions on Adani certainly won't help. There is no delay. With unexpected time back in Canberra... No, order, I want order. The Senate's using it to account for the blizzard of government advertising across the airwaves. Is Mr estimates, Morrison spending $600,000 a day well, you're just on government to get advertising? Order, order, as it's a been. simple Area question. Order. Tune in for more of the same tomorrow. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.